Shout out. Y'all must say all praises to Yahweh. Ba Shum Yahweh Shai, Ba Shum Rakak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles, a great millstone. And shout out to all the brothers teaching this gospel. Okay, teaching it the right way. But we out here once again, Columbus, Ohio, downtown, in the midst of heathens, in the midst of rats and devils and roaches and fucking hobgoblins, demons. What you, you had something you were about to go into? No, I can't find it. It's somebody, it's somebody, big time. I, I thought I sent it to my small. So, so much shit to me. Show you all that handle shit. Uh, about that port? Yeah. That's a spirit. I just made a video on pork last night. Went through that second Maccabees. Oh. And it talks about, what's that second Maccabees, the seventh chapter? It talks about the. the oh, hey, that's gonna go into the Mark of the Beast. You know how in second answers, the second chapter, just for the camera, you had a woman with seven sons. And then the, uh, the Greeks, they was trying to make them eat pork. Because, you know, they was already up in there sacrificing pigs in the temple. Trying to make all the Israelites uh, uh, renounce the Lord and all that and start following the Greek gods. But you had, a uh, was it, Antiochus was trying to make seven sons and a mother eat pork. And they refused and they all got put to death. They got their tongues cut off. Their member, it said the members of their bodies got chopped off, probably chopped off their fingers and toes, chopped their dick off, and they cooked them in a frying pan. I mean, just think, though, they're going to do that. They're going to try to do that to us again. When it gets down to the, uh, they go by, you need to renounce the Lord and renounce the Bible, or we're going to put you to death or torture you. And accept this chip. And that take chip that chip. Place it at four, man. They can threaten. They can do some sick shit to you. Like, like I said, they can chop your dick off and put it in your mouth. Do some, you know what I mean? A lot of people they're gonna be afraid of that death and that torture. They just they just gonna bow down and you know take the chip, renounce the Lord. Cause they did that to the early Christians. They used to torture them. They peel their faces off. They like you either renounce the Lord or we're gonna torture you and put you to death. What's that for? You got that revelation? Huh? Oh, they read that too. Whatever you got. Whatever. What's that one in Revelation? They be beheaded. Hebrews 11 and 34. Prince, the violence of fire escaped. It's talking about the faith of the righteous men. It says, escape the edge of the sword. Out of weakness will made strong. Wax violent and fight and fight. Turn to flight the armies of the aliens. The point I wanted to play about. The uh, women received their dead, raised to life again. And others were tortured, not accepted deliverance. Others were tortured, not accepting the difference. That's what uh, the scripture, the, uh, when you were talking about the, uh, uh, the second Maccabees, exactly. before the seven brothers got, uh, you know, tortured. There was an old man, it wasn't it? Alizar or something like that. I forgot his name. Yeah. He said, uh, he said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, try to, uh, try to go bow, pretty much bow down to you, so I can live just a little bit longer. I'm just gonna suffer. I'm gonna suffer manfully now. I'm gonna die like a man. Oh yeah, oh, suffer manfully. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Others were tortured, not accepted the deliverance. Cause the dude, cause one of his friends came up and said, "Hey, let's act like this is like some off for like some what, what some lamb meat, whatever." Just say it's pork. He, he, like you say, can't it's integrity. Not accepted the deliverance that they might attain a better resurrection. But others have trial of cruel mockings, misfortune, day over a bond, stoned, sold asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wondered. Uh, they wondered about in sheepskins and goatskins being destitute, afflicted, torment. Yeah, they saw it. So they always killed the prophets. Just like we said, the early uh, Christians who are Israelites. But the Christians just a nickname. They just a nickname for the Israelites who followed the Messiah. Like I said, they was constantly tortured by the Roman Empire, persecuted. The, uh, all the apostles was put to death. Where they crucified Peter upside down on a cross. They crucified Andrew on a sideways cross. Uh, what was I say? I had a point. Uh, what was that scripture? Oh, yeah. People get sawed and Hey, because you know, according to the government, we're on a terrorist list. We're considered actual terrorists. 
we're, we're guilty of treason being out here teaching what we teach. Because everything we teach is against this country, against this nation called America. And they could haul us off. Any day they could haul us off to a camp. You know they got secret concentration camps you don't know about. Them. Black sites, they disappear your ass. And they could torture you, try to get you to renounce the Lord. That's what it comes down to faith, bro. Yep. Faith with the world don't have. I'll read that one scripture we just talked about. Uh, Revelation 20 and uh, 4. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were be beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received a mark on their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai a thousand years. So, uh, yeah, so a lot of uh, the scripture said, you "No, know, you get put to death for doing the work of the Lord, for being a witness." Did you know that? Hey, that separate the real from the fake. You know, especially they got a line, a line of you lining you up, watching guys get put to death in front of you. You got their time to think about it. But these people think that can't happen. Hey, the concentration camps is real. These people, they, just, they, just, they deserve to get thrown in camps. Don't they? They already look like they ain't in a camp, don't they? This shit look like a camp out here already. Everybody all raggedy and shit. Everybody's beat down. Yeah, beat down. You just, yeah, just look at it, everybody. Everybody's beat, like, beat the hell down. They got weird spirits. Yeah, it's, uh, William Solomon, too. Uh, Dave passed $2. Dave passed $2. The point is in uh, uh, 19. I'm going to read up a little bit. It's uh, Mr. Solomon 2 and uh, uh, 13. No, 12. Because this, this, this is the wicked mindset against you know, righteous men. It says, Therefore, let it lie and wait for the righteous, because he is not for our turn. He is clean contrary to our doings. He upbraided us with our offending the law and objective to our family the transgression of our education. He professes to have the knowledge of God and he calleth himself the child of the Lord. He was made to reprove our thoughts. He is grievous unto us even to behold. For his life is not like other men's, his ways are of another fashion. We are esteemed of him as counterfeits, as fake, we call fake Jews. Those motherfuckers is comfortable, man. They stressful and shit. You know? They don't believe in the Lord anyway, so they don't think about it. They don't require faith. He is traded from our ways and from filthiness. Hey, check it out. Hold up. My bad, man. You know around here, you know, you know they got gyms in every last one of these motherfuckers? Yeah. Apartments? In every last That's one crazy, of them. Yeah. Right, man. And you go to the hood, Jake, there's gyms nowhere. You got to go out a little bit. There ain't no gym. gym. Right, man. They on the outskirts of the moment, if anything. You know? Yep. Jake is all unhappy. There's no way to release all that stress and yeah, we all anger. We're trapped up in these cities. Yep. It's not like you can really go do anything. Right, right, right. But where Esau lives, man, he's comfortable. He's happy, stress-free. He got energy. He eats good. You know, along with the foul shit he's doing, too. But he does eat good. He does. You know, for He real. can afford the good shit. Right, right. We're at a grocery store. We're trying to decide, wow, well, oh, I can't afford that. <laughs> it costs too much. Right, You right. want to get them good mushrooms or something, I can't afford it. You know, man, you know you got to suffer, though. Because that's what I do, man. Because I, I spend a, a, a large portion of my money, man, on Ooh, supplements right. and good vitamins and, you know, vegetables. And I don't care, man, if I end up broke, man, as long as I can shit good. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I had to get that good chocolate, boy. <laughs> yeah. That's a good For shit. real. For real, man. You see that? You see, oh, look at that. Oh, say, what the hell was that? And whether we really know it or not, we know it through the spirit that... We trying to live long, we trying to live healthy. And as long as we pray in the Lord's name, man, he do provide for us one way or another. He yeah. get us out here, don't he? Yeah. He get us out here. You know? That's the energy though, you know? He's, he's still feeding us. He still got us out here doing his work, man. I said, that's all you need your daily bread, really. That's right. Because really, really when you pour, we're really living like kings already. Yeah, right. 
If you know what you're doing with your money, man, you can do some good. You can do some shit. Kings eat good, man. Kings don't eat slush. Plus, <laughs> if you're a wise man, you should know how to get shit, you know? For real. You ain't like these fools out here. They, they, they like, they don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. They're impatient, so they yeah. just grab everything and any fucking thing, man. You know? I love reading labels. I love reading that shit. I love waiting. The store don't got it. I don't replace it for nothing. I wait or go somewhere else for fun, man. For real. For real. But these motherfuckers are impatient. They're faithless. They just eat and go into everything. Like Scoop said, especially these Edomites, man. Scoop said, they ain't in trouble as other men, something like that. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Shit, man. They, they ain't going to the most organic rest of. Uh, you know, you do them old, little rich pants again. organic ass. shit, too, man. Now, you know. A lot of that shit's fake. Yeah, they released a, a news statement uh, saying that a Whole Foods and the other health store, man, that's a scam they doing with that, uh, whatever you call it, uh, organic shit, man. Yeah, they I still, knew it was, though. Yeah, they still got pe using pesticides and shit. Right. See, I go to Instacart to get all my fruit and vegetables. That's probably that real time. organic. And I'm telling you, man, that shit tastes you got a whole different, you got to just go to the place and yeah, it's a car as a witness, man. I was say, it's a car that shit in his backyard. And it's been a big <laughs> right. for real. They go to Morris Road, man. It's an absolute Morris Road. Morris Road. Right. Where's that at? It's called um. Morris and um. You know the guitar place is right across on the other oh, side of Morris Road from that. Guitar Center. Right there. It's right there. For real? Right across oh, from the street on right Morris Road from uh, that. I need pass this show. Yeah, yeah. You never go in there. Yeah. No. Right. <laughs> and that's amazing, man. That's the restaurant I go to when I'm trying to eat fish too. I'm telling you, man. It's a the best food I've ever had in my entire life. In my entire life. Now that's huge. You know? And it's that's, Instacart, man. Mexico. That's good to check out them other stores. Instead of just going to Kroger all the time. Yeah, it's a grocery store and a restaurant on the side of it. You gotta go through the grocery store to get to the restaurant. Look, they serve you. got a bar in there and everything. Man. Fine ass Mexican bitches be coming in. Instacart bitches be coming in and out. Fine ones too, man. I need one. But look. You either see a bunch of issue car, maybe Ephraim might run in and out. You never see our people, you know? Yeah. And you may see a bunch of Hamites. But never our people, man. You know, None. we've been trained to go to the the, the, the standard stores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been trained to go to right. Kroger and the big, the big stores. They love them, niggas love them carryouts though. Oh yeah. They you know? Yeah, yeah, the yep, yep. they love them carryouts, but for some reason they don't support, they hate them. You know, they hate, that's the curses. One well, reason they, they go they to the carryout is the convenience right there in the corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's cheap. Well, it's right there by your house. I'm telling y'all, y'all have to go to that store, man. Oh, you have to go to that store and just taste the fruit, yeah, and you're gonna bug out. You'd be like, wait. Wait. My favorite store, man. Yeah, I got this Asian store right by me in the corner. Oh, let me have that. They got some pretty good stuff. That Asian food be weird, though. They got some, they be eating some weird like shit. Asian, yeah. Chinese, but Thai food and shit. Hopefully someone died down there. What's up? Pouring their booty cheeks at first. That's classic. <laughs> Lock, that's it. Lock, Moat, Sheep, That's the name of the grocery store. It's the baddest store ever. They probably got no good peppers, too. They got good everything. You know I'm they telling got you, the peppers. I have every single thing in there, even the shit I can't never seen or heard of before. If it's grown, they grown. I had to go. I had to try it, though, man. 
I think that's that right, like right about my, uh, like you go to keep going down. Walk. So many good moves. Walk. So many good moves. And it heads from Rose Road. And it goes all the way to Northern Lights. That road. That is the corner that is known. It goes all the way to Morris and all the way to Northern Lights. And 5 is always on that stretch because it's 25 miles down the whole distance. Uh, I hate it. You know, Tim will be pulling them up and so we're going to take it. It's like drive through Bex. 25 oh, miles an hour. Fuck that, yeah. Fuck, no. Oh, Clear it, don't go through it, man. Look, that's a cream. Oh. Crush it, bro. Oh, my goodness. It's got mini skirt on it. She ain't delicious, man. Oh, my goodness. It's got all kind of bumps. Smart. Losing swords. Ugh. Shame. 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 We well, you know they these nasty bitches like this. I didn't mean to find this one. This uh, is a rock 30 and 14. Better is the core of being sound and stronger constitution than a rich man that is afflicted in his body. Oh, yeah. Rich, the, yeah, a lot, a lot of the rich people too, though, they uh, unhealthy as hell. They have all kinds of ailments. Because actually, really, yeah, health, that's, that's money right there. Having good health. You know what I'm saying? You no, know, that's that's the best world theory is my so it does it? Yeah. It's a healthy, good estate of body are above all gold. And it's strong body oh, above shit. infinite wealth. Hey, good health is like gold. And that's why like sometimes you ever notice how like people look down on you, say you don't have a, like, a better job and them. They got all kind of money. So especially Jake though. Jake they got money. But this motherfucker got diabetes, yeah. heart problems. Belly out here. Belly out here, but he's living good, but but I'm a top eight shape. I'll break your ankles on the basketball court, <laughs> run around the block, go lift some weight. You know what I mean? Us compared to these people. Right, right. They, they, they be, especially a skinny Jake. He still can't run to the yeah, block. Yeah, still can't. You know? He be underweight and still can't run to the block, man. <sighs> yep, not a win, man. You about to die. Yep. All they doing is sitting around smoking, man. Smoking and drinking. Yep, just not, drinking. Not eat, not, not not spending none of that money on nourishment, man. Yep, just stupid, man. And eating all that pork and shit. Yep, just smoking and drinking. That's all we doing. Like my nephew Philip, this wicked that demon, man. He said he righteous. Man. This motherfucker can't gain a pound for shit, man. This motherfucker is skinny as shit, man. But all he's doing is just smoking and drinking. Man. Never eats unless somebody gives this motherfucker something. Yeah, that's how they be all that drinking and shit. That destroy your body. That's crazy. Drinking every day. You, you know how these dudes are. So I used to be like that when I was young. You, yeah, right. As soon as you wake up in the morning, you got to get a beer. You got to get a 40 or something. You know? Yeah, that's how most... It, everybody got their fix like that. If it's not their beer, or they popping pills. Most people on pills and shit. Xanaxes. I seen somebody come out. They said Xanaxes are more addicted than pain pills. That's I heavy. know they're addicting. I know they're getting addicted to them. Man, that Xanax is huge out here. Every day they pop up Xanax. Every fucking day. Fucking everything. Just to go to work or go to sleep. They fucking they brain chemistry all up doing that. They gonna go crazy. Yep. They gonna go crazy. Go ahead. Uh, well, I'm gonna read down to like 20, but it's uh, Ciroc 31. <laughs> and uh, we started at 11. It says, no, it's like, uh, 12, it says, If thou sit at a bountiful table, be not greedy upon it, and say not, there is much meat on it. Remember, remember that a wicked eye is an evil thing. And that's a good thing, too, because, like, the niggas, they go to, like, a little, little cheap shit, like a cheese spot, like, or something like that, and they get a lot of shit for cheap, and they just eat, 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 drink, you know, just drink without even, you know what I'm saying, without even moderation, just, you know what I'm saying, and calls himself like, weed and pop, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nothing yeah. good. Yeah. Hey, y'all ain't gonna eat your spinach, are you? You know what I mean? Everybody, we out here talking about health. But ain't nobody gonna eat your, eat your goddamn spinach. Eat your, when you was young, they tell you to eat your greens. Hey, they, don't, they, don't te they don't teach you that no, no more now, because now, that was our old generation that was eating greens. This new generation, but eat that, matter of fact, eat that bacon cheeseburger. Yeah. Make sure you eat two of them. You know, we grow up, they like, eat your corn. 
He's the green. Don't get up till it's gone. Like the green beans. Well, I used to hate I love green beans now. Peas, green beans. Peas, oh, this is delicious. I scarf them. Man, man, that shit is actually oh, delicious. It's like little shit. It's, not, it's like, we like, we like cabbage, but little. So good. Oh, okra? Oh, uh, you talking about uh, Oh, Brussels sprouts. Yeah, like, oh, like, God. So now that now Especially the cream. Sure. I gotta try them out. I ain't had them in a minute. The cream? You gotta have somebody prepare the cream for you. The cream, man. It's a buttery, my wife makes a buttery cream. It's buttery, but it has like a, it's white. I don't know what house you make it. It's just amazingly delicious. <laughs> it's better than me, ain't it? It's, it's better than actual beef and chicken, fish. That, it's better than All that meat fuck me, fuck my stomach up. Right, you, gotta, you can use a little meat to season it. Yeah. The, the veggies, cause she just made a, a Fried in there stew. with it. Fried in there with it. Nah, Oh, stew. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Slow cooking in a broth. It's a beef broth. In a broth, right. Shit's just an absolute amazing, man. But that's all the meat is used for. It's just the season. It's for the flavor. It's yep. the flavor. But as far as trying to fill up for that meat, fuck that, man. Hey, hey you, make, you can save money, too, by making your own food. Damn right. <laughs> Damn right we yeah. get, get a little beef. What's it? Beef cube, cube shit? Yeah, get season. The season cube. Yeah. Flavor. Seasoning flavor. Oh, your boy. Cubes, how beef, I for talking about somebody. Ow! Oh, he finally turned around scoffing rolled by him. He came back to scoff again, got him. <laughs> <laughs> got him. So, that's just a wicked shit here. Pulling motherfuckers over. Man. I know, man. You that's a wicked shit. They, they control it with these cars. It's just roam all over. Just roam all over again. Like the Centurions are fucking Jake when they were coming on them roads from getting, from getting um, cargo or, or goods or whatever. Whatever else. I can't remember what the roads is called in and out of Rome. Yeah. <laughs> but the centurions is a fuck with Jake. Up and down those things, man. Up and down those troubles, man. The roads is where you getting all the trouble. Hey, they the road, the centurions just actually take goods from Israelites. Hell yeah, they still do that. Damn right. Ain't That's nothing, what they do. Yeah, ain't nothing new. Look, these cops be pulling motherfuckers over state have patrolmen, sheriffs, Columbus fire. They be pulling motherfuckers over they have especially around income tax time, walking around carrying all that cash. Yeah, yeah. And they be taking it from them, man. You know they do. There ain't nothing you can do. Where does that term highway robbery come from? Highway robbery. The only, yeah. only motherfucker I ever robbed me on the highway was a cop. You ever have anybody else get you on the highway? Like, give me your money. Only people to do that is the cops. The cops. Yeah, the cops still are. Badass knife on the Oh, that's they got my knife in New York. Badass knife on the stand. It was custom made. Oh, yeah. They made brushes, like brush knuckles and a knife. Yeah, you know they had to have it. It's like, can I get my knife back? The cops, they know for keeping keep knives and shit. Weapons. Huh? Taking shit home to their children. Oh, yeah. Giving a curse to their children and them. Okay. Still. Because you know the cops, they into weapons and shit anyway. They like knives and guns and shit. So if you got a good knife on it, you can just... I've never seen anybody with a good knife get pulled over and get a keep a knife. But where do you think they be getting them guns from? Yeah. They be planting on people. Take it from somebody else. Yeah. You know, if you got a real nice gun, they keep it. Yeah, don't log it in. They might, we gonna let you go. Yeah. You, you, what, sometimes they'll let you go. Oh, if you got a big old bag of weed on you? Is that rain? Yeah, a little bit. It's a whole bag. Oh, we talking, we, we talking about these life. cops. Y'all Israelites. Yeah, I know. Got a warning right now. Know this. Two years he's gonna be a man. Yep. Well, Two years he's gonna be a man. That's if we're still here. Okay. I'll teach him right. We go see. <laughs> That's if we we're still see. here. You remember this was inside mommy's book? You remember Same. the book I had? And they, it was only 75 cents and with nobody buy it. It was 25 cents. And with nobody buy it, that's nobody why I bought it. Hey, you well, know that's well, in the scriptures, though. Man, they didn't even know the book was there. Wow. I'm not surprised. I had to see the accident. Excuse me, sir. Why did you die? There was no oh, way that we were equal. Huh? When I opened up that book. Right, 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 right. White people could. Slave the woman. They whistled at a white woman. The little bit of Emmett Till. They're trying to erase it. They're trying to erase it. I went out there to my kids. My kids said, Mommy, how come don't nobody know about this? 
the prince that sold us for our pressure. Because they didn't want you. Now as they didn't want you to know they paid the book so far by the price, but they didn't even pick up the book with no interest because it was only expensive. about slavery and what the white man did to his blood. They did that to a black Yeah, they whipped it. They whipped it. That's what they whipped. Hey, they still do that to this day. They just don't put it on the news. You just don't see it. They still do it. It's the very same. You ever hear about people getting locked up, detained, in the dead, in the prison, in the yeah. jails, man? Just so. Um, who was, who was, who was Shit, Franklin County was under investigation. Franklin County Jail was under investigation. Feds. It's actually by the uh, the crazy. feds and the uh, yeah the United oh, Nations. Oh, that's right, that's right. The United yeah. Nations. They probably still right down here. Yeah, they probably still. And the Jackson White. Yeah, Jack. Oh, he knows about Jackson White. Oh, that's there. Uh, <laughs> Why? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, they little kids should not know about Jackson White. They don't think about him. Just yeah, but you know he knows he about Jackson White. He he probably not. I heard that word pop up multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> you know how many times I've been to Jackson Pike? Oh, shit. I remember when you, they, uh, they used to take you to Jackson Pike. They put you in a the room, they throw, they throw powder on you. No powder? And then they spray your ass down. What? No, they spray you down first, then they throw this, this, this disinfecting powder on you. What the they fuck? They don't do it no more. Though. And I'm talking about they strip your butt fucking naked. You know the motherfucking guard in Jackson Yeah, that's just nasty. You go in there, they still make you get resting in front of everybody. They make you bend in. over and spread so they can look in. So they can look in. They still they do that down here. They um, do. When they when you when they before you even go to the jail cell, uh, they take your shit off and they didn't make it we do that when I do For real? I think they do that when you go to an action when you go to it probably depends on the guard too. They uh, they make you bend they look your nuts see if anything contraband they look for People hiding shit. Yeah. Bring your ass, bring your open cheeks and they look. Or they do it real quick. Yeah, that's a nasty. Just yeah. say you to bend over and hold your nuts and cough or something. That's crazy. But that's just crazy. I had to do that to get in the military. When I had to get in the military, you had to have some old dude come and fucking fill you up, bend over, he hooks up your ass. So you actually gotta get sexually violated to join the military. You actually got to bend over, hold your nuts and cough. Yeah, check and, for hernia. And he looks at you, looks inside your asshole. Yeah, let's check for hernia. Who, 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 who came up with that procedure? He's so, so like booty holes. He's just yeah. sitting there studying the asshole. Like booty holes. Well, he's asking around like, shrimp. Black like booty holes. That's the thing too about the military though, like. Right? You gotta be out your mind and want to join the military. When you get there, you gotta take showers with a bunch of dudes. But naked. There ain't no privacy. And, and early in the morning, you gotta piss three to a toilet. That's some there fucking. That's some faggot shit, man. I think it's made. It's by like that by design. 
There, there's no oh. reason to ever have men doing that. That's just disgusting. You know, like, you know, like the back room, the stalls, you know, you take a shit with them. Yeah. You see, you see the crack. Like, you can see right through that shit. You can grab a pack and see something like that. You notice that? Yeah. I can't do that. And that's why, that's why ever since I was young, so I remember I was in elementary, I forgot what grade or whatever. But I was, uh, we was all sitting in line to take a piss to, uh, whatever, it was shit called the stalls, whatever. Yeah. And I remember one dude in the front, he was like, he looked over like, oh, you're a dick, it's small. Ever since then, I was like, oh, man. Yeah, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking gay as fuck. Every time I piss, I go to the uh, thing, I close the door and everything. I don't do that shit. That's right. That is shit is gay. Once you hate when you go to a bar, and they got the, just the horse trough, it's like the, uh, it's not even a girl. Like, every, everybody just lines up. Right. Goes and pisses. That's the fact shit, man. That's crazy. Shit, if I told you in the Marines, though, they just had a line of toilets. There was no barriers that you look over, say hi to the next to the person next to you. Ungodly, they don't mind. Ungodly don't give a shit. Piss and shit in front of them. That's a faggot shit. They don't give a damn, man. They don't even think nothing of it, man. Especially if they already accustomed to being locked up in jail. Oh, they coming out. They don't Oh, they comfortable. Yeah, they comfortable. Shit. You got more, you got more privacy in jail than you do the military. Right. Here you go. This is Romans 1 and 28. And even as they did not like to retain the most high in their knowledge, the most high gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. That's this whole fucking world out here. All these all these motherfuckers are reprobate, inconvenient, a bunch of faggots, a bunch of adulterers. You can't, you can't even socialize with these people, man. <laughs> They accept all manner of degeneracy. Yeah, all manners. <laughs> Seriously. They really do. They, right. Except for the Bible. You start teaching that Bible stuff. Yep. Bro, they done. They, you're you're evil. You're a misogynist. Homophobic. Transphobic. They call you every name in the book. Buzzkill. We got Buzzkill. Oh, that's the biggest one. We got Buzzkill. Buzzkill. My friends are... Uh, I got some two-thirder friends. I don't know... The Lord of Jack Buzz. It was good. But that's what they call me Buzz. They were like, stop killing my Buzz. You killing my Buzz. Stop talking that Bible shit. Okay, I know. Yeah, you fucking my, yeah. I said, okay. I said, okay. But you talking the truth. Like, if you be drinking with somebody, you start hearing the scriptures. They're a sober but they, get, they start, you give them a headache. You know, it's like when we hear two thirds talking, that shit gives us a headache. Exactly. It's vexing the center. What's that? There's a script on that. It's a good conversation. Oh, yeah, that is good. Peters. Doing that random land. All the way down here. 29. Proverbs 29 and 27. It says, an unjust man. What's up, bro? Unjust man. Is an abomination to the just. And he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. Oh, you see that? Read that again. He was so the upright, which is us, we're an abomination to the wicked, which is the average most people. You know, most people are wicked as hell. You know what I mean? So that's why people ain't trying to hear the words of the Bible because they're wicked. Oh, that, that's that John three and eighteen. Let me get that. What's that? Uh, That's why these people don't believe in the Lord. And if they do believe in the Bible, they believe in the, the fake version, that book, that lie. You know what I mean? That all passive version of the Bible, which is not in the Bible. Uh, what we get? What was that? Can't get the page. John 3 and 18. Actually, let me just we we'll read it. John 3 and 18, he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of the Most High. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. That's why people got a problem with this because y'all deeds is evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. Neither come with to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. Right, so that's why there ain't a whole lot of people coming over here listening to us. Because, because you're evil. 
It says, for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light. So they're not coming to the light because y'all are evil. That's why the majority of people are not going to accept this truth. Y'all a bunch of demons. I don't know, man, this shit getting fucked up. They already fucked up. Ways to go. Just got a little ways to go. They'll make it. I'm gonna get to the end. Uh, These people ain't bro. <laughs> not a couple of them. There gotta be hope for some of them. I'm supposed to pray for them. Sister Mary over there. <laughs> Hey, bro. Rock 22. 12. Uh, fuck 13. He said, talk not much with a fool. Go not to him to have an understanding. Yeah, you don't want to talk much with a That's a beautiful scripture. The Bible says, talk not much with a fool. Yeah, read that again. That's amazing. That's an amazing scripture. It says, talk not much with a fool. Go not to him to have no understanding. Yeah, why well, you gonna have to talk with a fool about? He got nothing to talk to him. I've been seeing that. I've been staring at it for the past five minutes. Go ahead. Beware of him, we still beware of him, we still have trouble, and thou shalt never be defiled with his fooleries. Yeah, you don't wanna be defiled by these people's fooleries. You spend too much time with one of these fools, you're gonna be defiled by him. All the demons are gonna jump onto you. You know what I mean? Hanging out with two thirds all the time. They, 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 Cause all these people got demons on them. You hang out with these people, they, demons will jump right onto you. I know. That one scripture, I think somewhere else in Sharaq, he said, uh, "Don't be in the company of uh, sinners, but don't forget their punishment is not gonna be uh, far from." Yeah, cause like uh, one day them niggas gonna get they gonna get put to death. So if you there, you yeah, yeah. gonna be in the midst of that shit. Guilty by association. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. That's real, man. That's an old say. Well, if That's you real. lay down with dogs, you gonna get fleas. Cause their judgment's definitely fucking coming. All hell breaking loose and you hanging around with a bunch of wicked motherfuckers thinking about what you gonna do fucking next, like a dumbass. When we already instructed what the fuck we gonna do, we already instructed. Man. When two thirds of judgment come, man. You don't know, you know the most high got some horrible shit coming down the pipe. Yeah, it's, yeah. Fucking whole house explode with they shit, Yeah. You know? Somebody do a drive by on their ass. Can you right. imagine what NATO bringing over here, man? The beast, man? The weapons or whatever fucking foreign nation is going to invade this fucking rat hole? I seen an article about China. They getting ready. Damn right. You see that uh, oh. the United States is. They took that little ship down there uh, off the coast of China. Yeah, yeah. The Chinese, they all, well, war was broke out. They didn't tell you that they was really like, they were 60 miles out there, like 60 miles out there. Yeah. They don't, they don't come no closer than like 40 miles or something like that. It shows you the big bad movie from the nation. China, China has the largest navy now. They got the largest military, don't they? They got at least manpower. Yeah. You know they got the personnel. No, bro, it's just a... Bro, when the Lord gives us that power, bro, we're gonna be ravishing these women. We're gonna be like Conan the Barbarian out here. Yeah, just snatching bitches up, bro. We ain't gonna have to work hard, because man, they're gonna be crawling to us. Bro. For real. They're gonna literally be crawling to us. Hey, that's what they're there for. Like, to be delicious. Should we read you the um, second Peter 2? I was the purpose of, woke of a woman, but to be delicious and the comfort of man. That's it. The, the scripture said she was created as a help me. She's not an enlightenment. Nah, she's not made for enlightenment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> back in the day, after they went to war, go home. Yeah, right. You release. That's how you release your stress. Oh, that just. The wife was waiting when the man was off of the floor too. No, she, she's about to take. <laughs> She's about to get it. Kitty cat marinating for yeah. her. Yeah, it's motherfucker like purring. Especially like during the Civil War, you see footage of the Civil War. Cameras, pictures, the wife be out the end of the fence, just looking down the road, looking for him to come. 
That dude got scared when he said this. You see that? For real, he got bugged out. He looked like he got bugged out. Said, uh, I'll middle. Oh, I'll go. I got it. I got it. Thirteen says, uh, you know, "Depart from him, and thou shalt find rest, and never be disquieted with madness." Uh, what do you say? Be disquieted with madness? Read that again. That's what you, <laughs> you, got, you got to go to these. Him, and thou shalt find rest. I told about the fools. Are we supposed to to depart from these fools? If they out here talk, wait, what is these fools talking about right now? Oh, the Eagles and the who the Eagles play the uh, fucking. The Bears, the Eagles, and that's all they talking about right now. That, that's the extent of that. That's their prophecy. The only kind of prophecies these, these people know about is their uh, playoff predictions. That's their prophecies. They're going to predict who who won the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? These people, people are idiots, man. Another example is mentioned the sports. Pittsburgh having an uh, issue with Antonio Brown. Oh he, yeah. He sent a statement out talking about uh, he's in control of his free will. Uh, <laughs> you know? he control and that's shit. an example of the wicked conversation, man. They, they, they always gonna, What's up, bro? They always gonna say something some blasphemous blasphemous ass shit, man. I was about to say your boy look like Negan. Negan. <laughs> yeah, was it? yeah, your boy. I heard something about it. I didn't really look into it. After they captured him, I lost interest in the Yeah, show. I lost interest after this. Straight up. They was going off. I heard they killed Rick off too. Yeah, they man, you kill Rick, you're done. Just cancel it. I fucking hate this shit. I hate that fucking First they killed his son, and they, man, they're done. I hated the son more than anything. His son? Yeah, I hated the eat him like. Fucking eat him like. Yeah, but his, the character, though. It was a. Stupid with that big ass cowboy guy. Yeah. Stupid as fuck. That shit yeah, was kind of good. good, man. Cowboy guy's supposed to be cool. Man. Stupid. I think I gotta give me a cowboy hat with some cowboy boots. What do you say about the wicked man? Show him a little bit more. Uh, it says, talk to the wicked man. Look okay, at the old school That's true or some shit like that. Uh, talk not much with the fool and go not to him to have no understanding. Beware of him, least they have trouble. And thou shalt never be defiled with his fooleries. Be defiled with his I don't be defiled by y'all's fooleries. Y'all got. You know she got all the food of I ain't messing with her. They always gonna say some blasphemous ass shit. They're programmed to do that just that. To say some blasphemous ass shit. They're yeah. programmed to do that. This is automatic. Oh, right. damn. Oh, y'all yeah, reading the Bible. That was written by man. Right. I'm like, oh, wow. Like, that was original, bro. What the scripture say? The scripture says the most high gave up unto a reprobate mind. Yep. So them angels is constantly programming these motherfuckers to do something stupid every fucking day. They predicted it. Oh, yeah. Where's that at? I think it's probably the line of the spirit. Yeah, this is another, just to see another example. These angels is controlling the Mars and these fucking dumbasses. That's is, it, is that Chronicles? The demons. What's up, bro? Hey, how you doing, bro? You're the one who's out, man. I'm at field. You believe in the Bible? Yeah, I, I was a minister for like three and a half years, man. I just kind of fell off a little bit. You fell off? Yeah, I kind of fell out of the truth. Prayer, man. You know, then I just fell off, man. I, I got a lot of stuff that happened in my life, and I veered away a little bit. I'm actually, you know what I mean? Girl, we all slip and slide. You know, we're going through, you know, we're getting but it's our nature, you know what I mean? That's how we are. That's good that you fell off Christianity. Yeah, I ain't falling apart from it. I just, I didn't stop believing. God does me right every day, man. I can always get glory to him. I just fell away from doing what I was doing. I was you know, going out, they said, I mean, you know, one of the men gave his disciples to go out and, you know, make, he said, go forth and make disciples in the name of Jesus. Uh, what what disciples? I get, uh, I get it. But who did he tell him to go out to, Paul. though? He told Paul, the Corinthians. I got it. He told Paul and Romans, he said, go ye therefore, make go. disciples from all nations. But who are we supposed uh, to go teach, though? I mean, we're supposed to teach. Uh, can I read a scripture for you real quick? Yeah, go ahead, man. Matthew 10 and 5. <laughs> These twelve, yeah, how was Shai sent? Because his name's not Jesus. Right. Okay. That, that's a that's an English word. That's a, the yeah, Lord's his a name is Emmanuel. His name was. Well, he's a Hebrew Israelite. Yeah. And in Hebrew is pronounced Yahweh Shai. Yahweh. Yeah. Uh, these twelve, Yahweh Shai sent forth 
commanded him saying, go not into the way of the Gentiles yeah. and into any of the Samaritans enter ye not, but go rather, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yeah. And as you go, preach saying the kingdom of heaven's at hand. So that's what we're doing. We out here teaching the kingdoms of heaven's at hand and we teaching the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Or like the people on that sign. The Lord only came for the Israelites. I was looking at that, yeah. The Lord is only dealing with the nation of Israel. He did not come to save he all the nations. He nation. said all you can be saved, Jews and Gentiles. We just spread it and said, go not to the Gentiles. No, he said, but go not to them. See, that's the correct. See, and you're looking at different contexts and different timelines as well. So you got to know what you're looking at, too. I, I understand because you're confused because all them so-called Gentiles, the Greeks, the Romans, we got a book of Romans, a book of Corinthians, all them... All, all, my book. Oh, you out of there. You done. He's been more been marked though, it don't matter. Yep, yep. Our, our, our work is done. <laughs> you know? Our work is done. Bust to the left his ass. You know? But the Lord didn't want him to get it. Hey, you right though. Hey, I'm not mad. Right. You know? Right. I'm glad he left. Right. I didn't like the way things were going. <laughs> so, you know? I didn't like the way he was talking. <laughs> he started talking that bullshit. The Lord's like, hey, what is that scripture you just read? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Give read that yeah. again. That's beautiful. That's the spirit, though. That is the spirit. Yeah, yeah. well, we don't be defiled by his foolery. That's right. That's hey, right. Man. Get the fuck out of here. Foolery. That's some funny shit. The Lord works in mysterious ways, bro. But that's going to be the title of the video. Don't be. <laughs> that Talk not much with a fool. Bro. Talk not much with a fool. That guy that came up here was a fool saying all nations could be saved. Go ahead. Go not to him that have no understanding. Dude got no understanding. Go ain't try to talk to him. Where of him, he's gonna have trouble, and thou shalt never be defiled with his fooleries. We don't. I gotta turn this camera off. We don't want to be defiled by your fooleries.